In 2 Corinthians, Paul talks about generosity. He um, does this in chapter 9, verses 6 to 8. And these are some of the most misunderstood verses, I think, in Scripture when it comes to generosity. Let me read those verses to you. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. You must each decide in your heart how much to give. And don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure. For God loves a person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. Now I say these verses are misunderstood because uh, those who would propose uh, what is called the prosperity gospel or uh, the word of faith gospel or the health and wealth gospel would say that if you give, God will give back to you financially. They say things like you can't outgive God or a gift is a seed so generously so your crop, your harvest is bountiful. That's not at all what Paul is talking about. In fact, in this passage from chapters 8 through chapter 11, Paul is making the point that he has refused to receive money for his own ministry from the Corinthians. While he was in Corinth, in fact, Paul worked as a tent maker. Apparently, there were a few in Corinth that wanted to uh, give large gifts to Paul, in essence, uh, be a benefactor for Paul. Paul refused that because that would have made him obliged to them. He didn't want that. But at the same time that he refused their generosity for himself, he was raising money to take back to Jerusalem for the poor in Jerusalem who were going through a drought at that time. Verses just prior to these, Paul tells the Corinthians that he's sending Titus and two brothers ahead of himself to help prepare for that offering. And he asks them to give generously. God loves a cheerful giver. But look at what Paul says then will happen if they do give generously. First of all, in verse 8, he will provide what you need. Not what you want, what you need. Secondly, in verse 11, Paul says you'll be enriched in every way so that you could always be generous. Paul says generosity breeds more generosity. And by giving, you'll be enabled to give more. In verse 12, he says two things will happen. The needs of the believers in Jerusalem will be met. Physical needs will be met, not yours, but the people that you give to. And then finally, in verse 13, as a result of your ministry, they will give glory to God. Nowhere in this passage does Paul promise the Corinthians financial rewards for their generosity. He promises them that they will learn about generosity, that needs will be met, and that God will be glorified. He also says your needs will be met as well. So today, give generously. Not so that you can get back what you've given, because your reward will be different. We'll see you on Sunday when we talk more about generosity.